Rice production is threatened by climate change in various ways. For example, the Mekong Delta in 2016 had a big drought and salinity crisis because we had an El Nino year and that means limited rainfall in Southeast Asia. So the water that came down the Mekong was reduced and in turn the salinity that comes from the seawater intruded much deeper into the delta. So the salinity levels were very high that caused damage to hundred thousands of hectares of rice in that year. And we think that with progressing climate change, these climate anomalies will rather increase. Or in other countries, we find increasing temperatures, a typical phenomenon of climate change. Especially during flowering, rice is quite sensitive to high temperatures. So if it's too hot, the yield would also be reduced. On the other hand, rice is also a big contributor to climate change. It's a big emitter of the greenhouse gas methane. In fact, it's the second biggest emitter after ruminant livestock. So quite substantial and then rice producing countries like Vietnam, the Philippines, Thailand, rice production is actually a substantial part of the total national greenhouse gas emissions of the country. So we're constantly breeding for new and better varieties, varieties that are adapted better to different stresses, varieties that can withstand higher salinity levels, varieties that can withstand higher temperatures and varieties that are more drought resistant. So we're constantly improving the existing varieties. On the other hand, we're looking for ways how to reduce the emissions from rice production. So we have a very important technology called alternate wetting and drying where we basically switch continuously flooded rice production and introduce dry phases and that reduces methane emissions by 50%. And we're now looking for ways to outscale these technologies. So we're doing more adaptive research in countries, um, figuring out the best strategies for dissemination of the technologies. And same time, we're also looking for new technologies and new strategies that further reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In terms of mitigation research, we strongly align with the Paris Agreement and the commitments of the countries. We are now working with the Ministry of Agriculture in Vietnam, for example, on finding strategies and ways how to outscale, disseminate and implement technologies on a large scale. Governments are more and more interested in sustainability aspects, so they are asking us how sustainable is rice production and we are also asking ourselves what are criteria and aspects of sustainable rice production and we're trying to develop the most sustainable rice systems we can. That means low inputs, high yields, profitability, low greenhouse gas emissions. A very kind of new research aspect that we are just trying to tackle is developing varieties that are emitting less methane. So there are ideas and strategies how to do that and would be of course ideal if at some point we can breed for varieties that we know would emit less methane. So that's, that's a very new point that we are tackling now.